Good morning. Well, the filibuster is as old as the United States Senate, and that means that the rule making it possible to delay legislation goes back to the time of George Washington and the very first Congress of the United States. The fact is that if 40% of the Senate objects to a piece of legislation being voted on and simply says that a senator will not be there, then that legislation is not considered. That's called a silent filibuster. But most of us are more familiar with the vocal filibuster, the loud filibuster that was dramatized by Jimmy Stewart as Senator Thomas Jefferson Smith in the movie, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. That's when a senator takes the floor and delays a vote on anything simply by talking and talking and talking. The record for the filibuster was set by Senator Strom Thurmond of South Carolina. That was in 1957 when the first major civil rights legislation came before the Senate. Thurmond alone spoke for 24 hours and 18 minutes, with one break for a sandwich and another to relieve himself. And in the end, he said, I hope you will seriously consider this bill. Well, more recently, we have seen the silent filibuster, the members objecting, halting legislation. Uh, senators from both parties have eliminated the filibuster for the uh, votes to confirm federal judges in the Supreme Court. But in terms of legislation, matters have ground to a halt and without a long speech. It's more that the fact that the senators simply say, I won't be there or I object, than the fact that they really exert themselves to speak against it, that has the calls for getting rid of it altogether running very, very loud these days. Right now, if every Democratic member of the Senate, all 50 of them voted to eliminate the filibuster and Vice President Harris cast the tie-breaking vote, it would be gone. All that history would vanish. That's not likely to happen. At least two Democratic senators, Manchin of West Virginia and Sykema of Arizona, have said they want the filibuster to stay. In addition, President Biden has pointed out, let's, and I quote, do it the way it was used when I got to the Senate back in the old days. And that's when they still had long speeches and delayed votes and some substance in the argument against what was being considered. This is going to be a fascinating vote. One more thing. It's poignant that Robert Caro, in the third volume of his biography of Lyndon Johnson, Master of the Senate, devotes the first hundred pages to the history of the Senate. The lion's share of that account is about, you guessed it, the filibuster. All right, John Gizzi, thank you for that.